I don't know about you, Steve, but have you ever had that feeling when you're reading a book and you're enjoying it so much that you don't want the book to finish? Yes. And I find myself eking out, sometimes over a few days, the last couple of chapters of the book. Yeah. And then when I have got to the end, the first thing I want to do is tell other people yeah. about it. Now, usually there's nobody there to tell, but for me, the big church read is this opportunity to to share the love of a good book yes. with lots of other people. And I think the beauty of it is, you're, as you're reading that the book and going through it, you'll be sharing that experience as you go along with people and the joy and the, you know, the learning that you're having, you can do that with people as you go along. And that learning is, is guided through the six weeks by the author of the book, in this case, John Mark Comer, yes. isn't it? So we're doing that on the website. Yes. And what will happen? There? So each week, starting on Monday, the 21st of September, a short video will be released, which will guide you through the uh, the chapter or the bit of the book you're reading that week. There's also special notes written by John Mark Comer. So in a sense, you'll be walking through the book with the author, with your friends. And one of the great things about it, I think, is that not only is it with your friends, but because it's a national event, yeah. we're joining in with people around the country who yes. are doing the same thing at the same time. Yes. So hopefully there'll be thousands of people and hundreds of churches around the country all doing this at the same time. Um, We've been running big church reads in churches for about five years, and they've found it a really helpful way of uh, coming together around a subject and a, maybe a preaching series, uh, but also just learning, sharing, getting to know each other through a book. Because one of the things about church life and parish life is that you're all thrown in together, aren't you? Yes. So people from all walks of life, all classes, all races, all ages yeah. and you don't know who you're going to speak to. Now usually we end up speaking to the same people yeah. each week anyway, yeah. but this is a, a reason to yeah. branch out. It's just, it's just a topic of conversation that you can bring up and because you're all doing it together, it makes life much easier. So I came to you in lockdown because we were trying to think at Hodder about how we can get more people discovering and recommending more books yep. and I had this thought of establishing a national church book club. Yes. So like the Richard and Judy book club, yep. but you know, with Steve and Andy. And um, and you said you had already been doing the, the Big Church yes. Read, which is a much better brand name. Yes. But this is the first ever national yes. one. We've and we're hoping to do two or three national ones a year, but also just to maybe get people thinking about what they can do in their own churches or in their towns or dioceses or whatever it might be around books of their choosing as well. So hopefully it'll spark lots of ideas in people to get people reading. And we should say something about why we've chosen this book in particular for the first ever national big church read. And from my point of view, I am losing track of the number of people who've said to me, this book has changed my life. And we certainly are struggling to keep it in print. It's selling so yeah. quickly and it genuinely is the book people are talking about. And for me, I mean, it's, it's right up my street anyway, this, this sort of book, but it's very practical. Yeah. And one of the things that happened to me in, in lockdown was that even though I'm the sort of person that takes planning his time very seriously, I realized I'm still far too busy. And when you're too busy, you crowd out God yeah. as well as each other. And that's the essence of this book, The Ruthless Elimination yeah. of Hurry. But as a retailer, have you seen a similar enthusiasm around the book? Yes, we have. And Interestingly, when we uh, go out and do events or to churches, the number of church leaders that have read it and are recommending it, which is always for us a really good sign that it's a good book that's yeah. not just going to come and go, but it's going to, the more people read it, the more people read it, if that makes sense, because yeah. of recommendations. And it gives you very practical, down-to-earth suggestions of what to do to, yeah. to slow down and to allow more space for, for yes. God, doesn't it? So it starts on the 21st of September. Correct. And then the following five weeks on Monday nights, we're going to release these teaching yeah. videos by John Mark Homer. But you don't have to do it. You don't have to keep pace no. with us over those six so weeks. There's the one church of their small groups meet, meet fortnightly, so they're going to do it fortnightly. Our own church is probably going to start a week late because that fits into their church schedule. So you can do it however you want, you know. So, and once the, you know, they're up there, they're stout there for people to use forever. But hopefully you can join in with everybody else at the same time, because it'll be more fun. And there'll be lots of chit chat on social media yeah. and online, people being able to talk about it. 